This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. You are joining us for a great show. We have four schools represented in this show tonight. You're going to see Elida take on St. Mary's and a little bit later, Versailles faces off against Riverdale. We want to introduce you to our players joining us now from Elida. We have Ethan Bowersock, John Free, Molly Wright, and Cody Kreitz. And Elida is coached by Shelby Klutz. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to St. Mary's. Kara Ionson, Gabe Overly, Courtney Zumbrogel, and Luke Schlomer. St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome back to all of you. All right, you guys kind of know the routine now. I hope we have this first round, 10 questions with 10 points apiece. Make sure you get the buzzers ready. Speak up when you answer and make your answers as complete as possible. And just relax and have a good time, okay? Everybody ready to go? All right, question number one. From what part of a sheep is the biblical shofar made? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. The haunch. That is incorrect. So, Elida, you've got a chance to take this one. Yes. The stomach. The stomach is also incorrect. The horn is what we're looking for there. All right, question number two. What is the nickname for the doctor on the Starship Enterprise? Time is up, teams. The answer is bones. All right, number three in your game. Which dam spans the Colorado River on the, yes, that would be St. Mary's. The Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is the correct answer. Name the pass in the Sierra Nevada where alleged cannibalism. Yes, that would be Elida. The Donner Pass. Donner's Pass is correct. All right, moving on to question number five in this first round. Temporary widespread loss of power, consciousness, or memory is called what? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. A blackout. A blackout is correct. Name the floating laboratory that circles the Earth. Yes, Elida. The International Space Station. That is correct, the International Space Station. All right, moving on now to question number seven in this first round. Name the athletic contest in the Olympics that has 10 events. Yes, St. Mary's. The decathlon. Decathlon is correct. What is the long-legged wading bird with a pinkish tint? Yes, that would be Elida. The flamingo. Flamingo is correct. What is the protein in blood plasma called that contains antibodies? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is incorrect. Elida, do you want to try it? Yes. White blood cells. That is also incorrect. It's gamma globulin. All right, your final question in round one. What is the name of Africa's highest mountain? Yes, that would be Elida. Mount Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is the correct answer there. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. And here is our score. We have with um, Elida and St. Mary's, and I think maybe we'll get back to that when we come back. Okay, here we go. St. Mary's with 30 points, Elida with 40. We'll be back with rounds two and three after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal.
Welcome back everyone. We have a tight game right now between St. Mary's and Elida. Here is our score. St. Mary's with 30 points, Elida with 40. That means Elida, you're going to lead the second round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answers. All right, here we go. Question number one. What is a wave signal reflected back to its point of origin? Yes. Echo location. That is correct. Echo is the answer. Number two. Name the radioactive dust lingering after atomic or nuclear explosions. Yes, Elida. Fallout. Fallout is correct. What are the two official languages of the Philippines? Yes. Filipino and Spanish. That is incorrect. It's Filipino and English. All right, two questions remaining in this round for you. What British passenger ship sunk April 15th of 1912? Yes. The Titanic. That is correct. And your final question in the second round. What is the common form of monetary exchange in most European countries? Yes. The euro. The euro is the correct answer. Very good. All right. Moving over to St. Mary's now for your five questions. Everybody ready? What was William F. Cody's nickname? Yes. Billy the Kid. That is incorrect. It's Buffalo Bill. All right. What insect is reputed to have 100 legs? Yes. The centipede. Centipede is correct. All right. What war ended with the Treaty of Versailles? Yes. The Revolutionary War. That is incorrect. It's World War I. All right. Two questions remaining in the second round. Name the amendment to the U.S. Constitution prohibiting unreasonable search and seizure. Yes. The Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment is the answer. And here's your final question in the second round. Identify what a six-sided figure is called. Yes. A hexagon. Hexagon is correct. All right, very good. We've come to the end of our second round now. Here's the score. It's still a tight one. Elida with 60 points, St. Mary's with 45. Moving on to our final round again with 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece, all up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. And here we go. Name the character that pursued Ichabod Crane. Yes, that would be St. Mary's. The Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman is correct. What was the poisonous drink that killed Socrates? Cyanide. Yes, St. Mary's. Cyanide. Cyanide is incorrect. Elida, do you want to try it? Yes. Arsenic. That is also incorrect. Hemlock is the answer. All right, question number three. What is the imaginary circle around the Earth midway between, yes, St. Mary's? The equator. Equator is the answer. Okay, number four. What is the mild form of traumatic brain injury that has symptoms such as headache? Yes, that would be elida. Concussion. Concussion is correct. Question five in your final round. What is the title awarded to a three-year-old thoroughbred that wins the Kentucky Derby? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Triple crown. The triple crown is the answer. What was the tasseled hat that was the national headdress of the Turks? Yes, Elida. Fez. Fez is the answer. The first day of Lent is also known as what day? Yes, that would be Elida. Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is the answer there. Okay, teams, we have three questions remaining. What strait separates Spain to Morocco? Yes, Elida. The Strait of Gibraltar. That is correct. 
Name the force at the center of a planet that attracts other objects to it. Yes, St. Mary's. Gravity. Gravity is correct. And here's your final question in this game. The four H's in the 4-H organization are what? Yes, St. Mary's. Head, heart, hands, and health. That is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Elida and St. Mary's. It was a close one, and this is when those five-point questions really do matter. St. Mary's, you have 95 points. Elida, 100. So congratulations. You're going to be moving on to our semifinals. St. Mary's, thanks for joining us once again this year. And we'll be back with another game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we have one team on the board right now for the semifinals. That would be Elida. They just took on St. Mary's and came away the victors there. Five points separating those two teams. So now we're going to see Versailles take on Riverdale. We want to introduce you to our players now. Joining us from Versailles, we have Sam Stockler, Maggie Marshall, Grace Francis, and Alex Grillo. And Versailles is coached by Margie Treon. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Riverdale. We have Andrew Borkowski, Samuel Thacker, Zachary Kaler, and Justin Hartman. Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome to you gentlemen. All right, we have our first round of 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. All up for grabs, let's get those buzzers ready. Make sure you speak up with your answers and make them as uh, complete as possible. We do have our judge back with us, Mark Dickman, so we will turn to him if we have any questions, okay? Here we go, number one. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Da Vinci. Could you expand the name? Leonardo Da Vinci. You are correct. What is the largest organ of the human body? Yes, Versailles. The skin. Skin is correct. How many amendments are there to the U.S. Constitution? Yes, Riverdale. 26. 26 is incorrect for sales? 27. 27 is the answer. All right, question number four. What are the nautical miles per hour called? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Knots. Knots is the answer. Moving on to question five in our first round. What sweet-smelling sub sweet substances were brought to the infant Jesus? Frankincense. Yes, Riverdale. Frankincense and myrrh. That is correct, frankincense and myrrh. Question six. What is the French name for the five nations of Indians? Yes, Riverdale. The Iroquois Nation. Iroquois is correct. And question seven. Name the famous Greek hero that completed the 12 labors. Yes, that would be Riverdale. Hercules. Hercules is correct. Question number eight now. What is known as the American plague? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Smallpox. Smallpox is incorrect. So Versailles, you've got a chance here. Yes. Measles. Measles is also incorrect. Yellow fever is the answer. All right, question number nine now. How many boroughs make up New York City? Yes, Riverdale. Five. Five is the answer. Yeah. All right, one question remains in this first round. What I word means a situation which no progress is possible? Yes, Riverdale. Impasse. Impasse is the answer there. All right, very good. We are now moving on to our second round of competition, and here is our score. Versailles, you have 20 points. Riverdale, 
70 points. That means, Riverdale, you're going to lead this second round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers, okay? What kind of light is given out by ordinary old style light bulbs? Yes. Incandescent. Incandescent is the answer. What was the middle period of the Mesozoic era? Yes. Jurassic. Jurassic is correct. Give the name of Japanese suicide pilots in World War II. Yes. Kamikaze. Kamikaze is the answer. Name the Polynesian island known for its colossal carved heads. Easter Island. Easter Island is the answer. And your final question in this round. What is the slang term beginning with H for an actor that overacts? No? The answer is ham. All right, turning now to Versailles. Your five questions with five points apiece. Everybody ready? Okay. What letters are used to refer to an informal promissory note? Yes. yes. RSVP. That is incorrect. IOU is what we're looking for. <laughs> Give the Australian term for a baby kangaroo. Yes. Joey. Joey is the answer. Name the giant gorilla that kidnapped Fay Ray in a 1933 film. Yes. King Kong. King Kong is correct. Okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. Name the Ohio City that is known as the rubber capital of the world. Yes. Cleveland? Cleveland is incorrect. It's Akron. All right, final question in the second round. What is the capital of Cuba? Yes. Havana. Havana is the answer. All right, that's the final answer in our second round. We will be back with the third round right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we're coming back to our final round in this game between Versailles and Riverdale. Right now, Riverdale is leading with 90 points. Versailles, you have 35. This is our final round of 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. Please speak up with your answers and make them as full as possible. All right, number one. What country is home to the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Yes, that would be... For sales. Italy. Italy is correct. What is the two-letter term Sigmund Freud used for part of the yes, that would be Riverdale? Id. Id is correct. Name the object that is paired with a sickle on the Soviet yes, Riverdale. Hammer. Hammer is correct. All right, moving on to question number four. Who is the oldest person to go into space? Yes, Riverdale. Alan Shepard. Alan Shepard is incorrect. For sales, you've got a chance here. Buzz Aldrin. That's also incorrect. John Glenn is the answer we're looking for. All right, question number five. Name the process in which plants use light energy. Yes, that would be for sales. Photosynthesis. That is correct, photosynthesis. What is a spear with a rope attached used to hunt whales? Yes, Riverdale. A harpoon? Harpoon is correct. All right, question number seven in the final round. Hirohito was the emperor of what? Yes, Versailles. Japan. Japan is correct. Who wrote the novel Gulliver's Travels? Yes. Swift. 
Could you expand? Jonathan. Jonathan Swift is correct. Question nine. The Matterhorn is located on the border of which two European countries? Yes, that would be Riverdale. France and Switzerland? That is incorrect. For sales, you want to try it? Yes. France and Germany? Also incorrect. The answer is Switzerland and Italy. All right, final question here in your game. What hibernating animal predicts the weather in early, yes, that would be Riverdale? Groundhog. Groundhog is correct. All righty, we've come to the end of our game between Versailles and Riverdale. Here is the score. Versailles, you have 65 points. Riverdale, you're the winner. You're moving on to semifinals with 140 points. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us very much, Versailles. Thanks for joining us at home. We'll see you back here next week. Have a great one. Bye-bye.